Titian going out of his way to continue with this program. Five months ago, we lost many lives, especially in this uh, division. We had a rad strike, and it was all about just because we didn't conserve our environment. So uh, this, is a, this will bring a very big impact in terms of uh, environment conservation. Tunatarajia kupada miti kama million biri. Hiri tuwe tunashugurukia hiyo miti na ikikua vikudi vitakuwa na sako yao. Hiri wakikitaka kuuza wanauza pamoja, wanashugurukia wale watauzia na wakikuja tunawauzia eh, mimea yetu. But I want to urge each and every person in this country, let's not wait until we have drought. Let's not wait until this a disaster happens. And then we think about planting trees or doing other initiatives that can help the society. We need all of us, as all Kenyans, when there is lanes like it is now raining, we need to come up with programs that can save this nation. And one of such programs is tree planting. With the current forest cover of 14.5%, the county government of Moranga and the community expect to raise that percentage to 16%. Stanley Mbichu, KT News, Moranga County. From Abadea's forest, let's move to Kakamega. Police in Butere, Kakamega County, continue to pursue leads to apprehend members of a criminal group better known locally as 42 Brothers who have been terrorizing residents from the past few months. Tension remains high in the area following an incident that occurred on Friday in which police allegedly shot and killed a man as they pursued members of the terror gang. Residents held demonstrations against the killings as they called for the immediate arrest and prosecution of the police who fired the bullet. They also lamented the increasing case of insecurity in the area and now wants authorities to take action. These were the scenes in Butere early Friday. Angry residents braved the early morning call to hold demos to protest the murder of a mechanic allegedly shot dead by police officers who were pursuing a member of a gang popularly known as 42 Brothers. Eyewitnesses say it was a case of mistaken identity after a police officer who was among those in hot pursuit of the gang shot the victim as he fixed a client's car at a garage on Monday evening. The security situation in Butere is wanting and we are asking for the, the internal security minister, Ma Fred Matiangi, to come in. Led by Butere member of parliament, Tindi Mwale, residents also lamented the increasing cases of insecurity in the area. They pointed out the resurgence of a gang popularly known as 42 Brothers that has for months now rained terror on the villages, leaving a trail of death and pain in its wake. <laughs> When 